The command performance travels back to CBS 45th Street to pick up its next guest. For over 10 years, she's been packing them in on the airwaves, and your letters have carved out a permanent niche for her in the GI Hall of Fame. Gentlemen of the AEF, Kate Smith. Thank you. Hiya, fellas. I want to send special command performance regards to the gang at Tehran, the 5th Army Mobile Unit. Private Saul Jacobson, APO 316. Ed Overend of the Marine Overend. Happy Charlie, happy Elmer, happy Gus, and what am I doing here, Harry, in Hut 121B? And also the knobhead, the finger man at 709. Maurice Powers, the big Boston bean man. And here's a song that I think you're all going to hear a lot of from now on. Don't Fence Me In. <laughs> As always, you were swell. 
Now, since command performance began many convoys ago, we've been getting letters from you fellows requesting that you be put in touch with home through the medium of familiar sounds. We've brought you the chimes of your favorite college campus, Chicago's Michigan Bull Bridge, complete with wind, steaks frying, eggs scrambling. In other words, we've tried to keep you up to date with what's boiling around your favorite bird. Tonight, command performance devotes the next few minutes to sounds of New York City. And who could better take you around town to cop a listen than three famous people whose business is reporting to New Yorkers on main stem and side streets Phenomena. It's mighty nice to present Dorothy Kilgallen, Louis Sobel, and Leonard Lyons. <laughs> now, Leonard Lyons, will you start our tour? Surely, Fred. It seems logical to begin with a sound effect familiar to all Gothamites. The first sound the visitor will recall. A streamliner plunging into the tunnel towards Grand Central. What have you got, Dorothy? Well, speaking of trains, how about the Penn Station about 542 on almost any evening when you can hear... Jersey City, New York, Elizabeth, New Brunswick, Trenton, Philadelphia. This one on is a rotten A. Take over, Louie. Uh, let's go down the stairs at 42nd Street, the IRT or the BMT. Any rush hour, just follow the green line, line and you'll hear... Get in, get in, there's plenty of room on top of the car. Tugboat on the East River. The North River. The South River. You all. A newsie on the corner of 50th and 8th Avenue shouting his wares. Extra paper, read all about that blessed event at zoo. Baby ostrich born with full set of feathers. Mother tickled. Well, Morocco, Leon and Eddie's, Cafe Royal, 21, the St. George in Brooklyn a couple of years ago, a bottle of Paul Roger, 1923, Pomeroy, 1928, or Cook's Imperial, 19... The Commuter's Dream, The Poor Man's Queen Mary, The Staten Island Ferry... <laughs> A famous landmark in Brooklyn, one that makes its presence felt to all who inhabit the region. <sighs> the Gowanus Canal. <laughs> one of my favorite sounds. You have to stay up pretty late at night to hear it. That was a Yale man being thrown out of the Stork Club. <laughs> How about this sound? What's that? A Harvard man being thrown out of the Yale Club. <laughs> the lake in Central Park. The season's first ice skater bravely glides over the shiny surface of the glistening ice. Oops, <laughs> a little early in the season. <laughs> Who could forget Ebbets Field during the baseball season? 30,000 rabbit fans cheering for their favorite team. But have you ever been out to DeRoche's dugout off-season? Command performance takes you to Ebbets Field in mid-December. Take the bum out! Throw him out! Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing out here in the middle of winter? Are you a Dodger fan? No, I'm for the Yankees. In the summertime, I'd get killed out here. <laughs> And now, my colleagues and I would like to bring to you just about the biggest sound in the big town. It's probably the biggest noise we'll ever hear. We take you to the crossroads of the world for a little preview of the noise you're going to hear when you step off that homecoming convoy. Take, take it away, away Times Square. <laughs>